I got to move stuff around here. Get rid of this. I'm so happy. Well, I'm so right gl- Yeah, I'm making the video now, but I'm getting sick and tired of doing them. Like where it's um. Well, I've got to watch your language. That's for sure. All right. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. All right. Yo, uh, chap- Ron, guess what chapter we're doing? Ron, you are so good, buddy. Yeah, we're doing 2.4, biome zonation and succession. We're only going to do biomes today, though, so we're doing part one. Part one, biomes, collection of ecosystems with similar uh, climatic conditions. So look, we're over here in America, right? Lee, how do you spell America? A-L-E-R-I-C-A. Lee, start copying down off Shania. Get good, buddy, all right? So America, Lee, we've got the plains. Unfortunately, well, the plains, they're just like the same as they are in over in Russia, even though we're a whole ocean apart. Why? Because you got climate on one continent, but if it's on the same latitude, it's going to have the same sort of climate on the other. All right. How many biomes are there? The answer is nobody really knows. Like you could break it down in a whole lot of different ways. There's so many biomes that they don't really have a number for them all. So there's no number. I just put down a bunch. Aquatic, a uh, biome in the water. So, um, like you're going to have for that one. I know I look good. I'm going too fast. Yo, I'll bring it down. Yo, I'll bring it down. Yo, I'll, yo, I go. I started before he started talking. Yo, no worries. So listen to this. It's all right. We'll get through it. All right. I'll probably, this is a new activity for all of us. Oh, by the way, Danny, I love your hat. All right. Um, how many biomes are there? There's a bunch. Yep. Darn right. Aquatic. All right. Biome in the water. So look, any of these are going to be in there. Oh uh, yeah. They're over there. Um, so fresh water is like a swamp river lakes. Anything that's fresh water is a biome. So it does not really matter if it's in a swamp, if it's in a river, or if it's in a, a lake, a pond, a stream, no hair, don't really care. You can go there. I know, Ron, that's my wraps, all right? That's why I'd be spinning them bars. I do kind of, you know, I, I me and Jay could go away. Maybe do another album, all right? <laughs> Too bad Jay Cole's last uh, last I'm, longer I'm, than my hairline. Yeah, listen, I think if it, I like Jay. All right, admit though, Jay Cole's better than Jay Z. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can see that. All right. He's got more clean cars. Uh, no, no, he that's said, what he said. That's debatable. That's not he said what he said. It's, I like them both, but like, and but I do kind of like Jay Cole's, I just find myself listening to a little bit more. Um, yo, mer- so talking about um, biomes, aquatic, there's also the marine biome. Marine can be like seashore, coral reef, mangroves, deep ocean, etc. stuff like that. Um, basically anything related to salt water. Oh, by the way, if any of you ever go to a mangrove, do not go there on a date. It smells like a sandy can, like that's been left there two weeks. All right. In the heat. It's it seriously, it's got, yep. All right. Yo, are we guys ready to party on? A little bit. Yo, easy with the end bombs. We're recording here. All right. Uh, confession. Every year. Why are you doing this? Not me, Shamar. I'm always asking people for twenty. Now, desserts. All right. So, I always mess up this word, Kamar. Maybe you do too. Desserts versus deserts, all right? Deserts is one S. Desserts is two. Why? Because desserts is fat, all right? So that's the way I remember it. Deserts is an ecosystem. Um, They have a lot in common with the tundra. Why? As much as you think it really does precipitate in the Arctic, it doesn't a whole lot because the air is so cold, it's dry. 
Obviously in the desert, it's dry too. We're gonna run into this later on where we talk about precipitation versus evaporation. Forest, forests come in different flavors, man. You got tropical, yeah. Tropical tends to be your rainforest. They're the ones that it rains a crap ton, Jaquain. And then as a result, that canopy grows tall, just like Lee, Ron, okay? Shamar, yep, ain't gonna lie, all right? But, I know the short um, not laughing. well, we're gonna pick on the short ones here in a second, all right? Well, the short ones who ain't here, all right? Um, we're missing, we're missing. So if you say something to you, it's secure. Yeah. Oh, tropical. So trees grow tall. They've got a big over um, canopy. So the result is a lot of sunlight does not get through. Wait. So a lot of the plants growing up do it slower. Kenzie. So more highlighted questions because the questions like questions are not highlighted. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I do have highlighted questions. Okay. Um, temperate. All right. Temperate forests are like the ones that we have here in the Northeast. Temperate forests do not grow all that fast. Not like the rainforest. Rainforest comes through, hurricane, boom, guess what? The tree knocks trees down, they back in no time. Temperate forest, it takes a while. So them trees out there? Like 30-year-old trees. Th yeah, 30, 50-year-old trees, you know? Um, Boreal forest, those are the ones you see like that are evergreen. You kind of think like all they are is that like they call it dark timber. If you're into um, harvesting wood, like if you're into being a lumberjack, they're the evergreens. They're the ones that are only evergreen. They're way up in like northern Canada, Sweden. That's Boreal. Um, JC. <laughs> yep. Oh, in the springtime, probably February. Okay. Spring? spring, yeah. You don't check well, on them every month? No, the every, reason, every reason why is this. For the maple trees, um, ma Shamar, be quiet. Stop giving away good answers. Yo, answer. so what you need is this. It's not rocket you need, no, I was just it ain't. Like, it's more, it's more profitable than rocket science. So ground freezes, but then what happens is it thaws out. Kind of like today, but it's got to do it come springtime. As a result, it pumps that water in the ground right up this tree, almost like a straw. That's where we tap in, take our share, boil it down. Tastes good. All right. Maybe we can bring in some stuff with it. All right. Um, back to this, though. Grasslands, they come in different variety. Uh, you have tropical, savanna, and temperate. So grasslands, everyone thinks like grasslands. They're not in the tropics. Most of you do not know this but in puerto rico if you have heritage in puerto rico the north side of puerto rico green lush tropical right yo grows bananas you can just spit in a dish and things grow beautiful beautiful now the south of puerto rico damn all right it looks almost like it's a spaghetti western all right you got grass that grows there's no tr like trees not really oh yeah you can see your dog running away for two days. It's that flat. All right. Pretty much. All right. What's that, Danny? You could see my wife running away for two days. Oh, me and you were going to fight, buddy. All right. All right. Um, Savannah. <laughs> what up? You know shit I know. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Savannah is like, okay, you got, even though it's different grassland than Puerto Rico, um, the savannas, you got lions trying to hunt zebras, stuff like that. Um, temperate grasslands are the ones where, uh, Lee's brother goes to school. Hey Lee, your brother goes to school in Nebraska, right? What do they grow out there? Corn and soy. Yep. Yeah. Don't laugh. Uh, moments. If you want an education for cheap, yo, that's it. Yo, can you pop my man in? All right. Um, so tundra. Tundra is in the Arctic. This is important for you to know and put down on a test. The tundra, you can have tundra-like environment on the very top of mountains. If you have a mountain that does that has no trees, like at the very top, that is alpine. Okay, 
That's what they talk about in alpine environment. And it's very much like tundra. It does not grow quick. So if I'm um, Jaquane and I'm just stomping out on the top of a mountain, that moss there, guess what, buddy? That moss grows back like my hairline. That quick. Damn. Damn. Right? Not very quick at all. Uh, you know, it takes like years to grow back that moss. All right? Um, if we're looking here, <laughs> it ain't that quick. All right. What biomes are where they are? Why biomes are where they are? Look, so biomes are all in different locations, but there's a reason why they are where they are. Number one, probably most important, without a doubt, is climate. Boom. Why is it that we have a forest out here? Because of our climate. It rains a lot. Temperature between 50 and 80, you know, on average. Okay. Sure, take the winters off if you're a tree, and then the summer gets hot, but not too bad. Um, other things. Terrain. Yo, out there. Is, I know, you and me both, buddy. Right? You and me both. Uh, terrain. You're going to find um, Danny on this one biome called a basketball court. Okay. Now, for the basketball court, we need it flat. Yeah. All right? No slope. No slope. No slope. None. None. All right? Now, the aspect. Hopefully, um, the aspect is kind of like which way it faces. I'm going to say for you, hopefully it faces north because that way the sun doesn't hit it that much. You know, the well, game, the, you know, the sun can't be hotter than the game. Okay. You know, and the game's pretty hot. Nah, I, I'm, um, I'm just saying that. Yo, know, in altitude, too, you want that court a little bit higher um, because that way the breeze comes through, keeps it cool. Yeah. All right? But not too high because then it starts blowing that jump shot away. Yeah, yeah, you know? Just saying. All right. Uh, yo, the other thing, off climate. Temperature and precipitation are the most important. Why? because they're what dictate what grows and what doesn't. So temperature, if you're trying to grow banana trees out here, not gonna happen, not gonna happen. Yeah. It's between 50 and 80, you know, average temperature. But right now it's January, and although we're going through a heat spell, it's generally cold as brick, right? Yeah. Right? So that banana tree is gonna come down to the bad case of dead, just in the, um, just in the temperature. Now, do we got the precipitation for a banana tree? Maybe. We got quite a bit of rain. Probably not, though. I, Danny, Danny's right. It's raining right now, though. It's raining right now. But, like, I don't think, like, we go through these spells. It's not like the north side of Puerto Rico where it's, like, raining a lot. You know what I mean? So, um, so that's real big. Yo, um, another one is this. I'm about to for you because, you know, this is the great thing about doing the lecture live. You get to cheat. Hey, is it cool if we cheat right now, JC? JC, is it cool if I just give you an answer? Okay. No? Okay. I'll give you one, but I'll say forget you, Lee. Define insulation. What? Oh, sorry, my friend. All right. Um, define insulation. Insulation is incoming sunlight. That's insulation. If you know Spanish, it up incoming sunlight. In sol in Spanish that means sun. Don't tell uh, Santi I said that. And Asian is just like a verb kind of coming in. So in insulation is incoming sunlight. Yeah. All right. Why does incoming sunlight matter? Are we getting that much sunlight today? No. H e double hockey sticks. No. All right. Are we getting, um, do we get more sunlight than, say, Seattle or Syracuse? Yes. Yep, exactly. It rains there all the time. You heard about London where, it, like, we got London on the tracks. Well, guess what? London's got rain, too, a ton. Um, and so off that, um, you know, incoming sunlight. Oh, by the way, though. Why does it matter? Oh, because for plant growth. That's why for insulation. All right. Um, hey, do we get more sun? Do we get less sunlight though than the Caribbean? Yeah. Yeah. The Caribbean's the sunlight's very direct. Um, it says right here, cell phone example. Um, do we have to write it? No. All right, but I do want you to see. Yeah. So if you look, 
right here. Um, I got I got a cell phone. It's shining right down on my palm. You see how it's direct? All right, strong sun rays. Now, if I do this at an angle like this, see how the sun's rays get spread out? They're weaker. So why I bring that up, if you're at the Caribbean, that sun's hitting you, it is, you are getting pounded with sunlight. But if you're in the Northern hemisphere, like here, sunlight gets spread out. All right. So right here, you see that white dot? You see that white dot? Very direct. You see here how we kind of spread it out like that or like that? Indirect. Indirect. It gets spread out. Wait, All right. Sure. Yeah. Is cell phone example? This is a cell phone example. Here's the sun. Here's you don't the need to write it. Yeah, don't like, write don't it. have to write it. But it's don't like, you see, how it's, you see it's direct? Yes. Okay. Now, you see how it gets spread out? That's all I need you to know. Okay. Why? Because in the uh, Caribbean, the sun's rays are much more direct. So if you are, you're more likely for skin cancer down there. All right. Um, where here, we're further north or south if you're in the southern hemisphere, the sun's rays get spread out. Um, latitude and altitude play a role. Yeah. It could also be too. There's some other factors that go into it, like uh, salt water. Um, salt water is very good for skin because it gets rid of the dead skin cells and helps the new ones form. Okay. Um, latitude. All right. Latitude is um, whereabouts you are in the hemisphere, like north or south. What's up, my friend? Plastic bag? Yeah. All right. Um, like a big one? Or... Okay. I think the littlest one I got is this right here. That being said, you're worth it. Okay? Anytime. All right. So, um, latitude and altitude play a role. So, look. In the Dominican Republic, they can grow strawberries, I've heard, because the mountains are so tall. Home. Not a bad place to be, let me tell you, man. From what I've heard, what? yeah, not racist. Yeah, born there, you know? I can't either. Let me see what I can do to get that good for you, okay? I'm trying to. Uh, let's see what this does here. Oh, Jesus. All right. I know, right? Drag it. All right. I could. You can't put it down. Not really. You know what I can do though? Is I can make this kind of bigger like this. Okay. Put it more closer to you. Okay. I'll try. Oh, yeah. I can do this. Can go like this. There we go. All right. It works. All right. All right, um, latitude and altitude play a role. So altitude, in the Dominican Republic, you can grow strawberries up in the mountains. Oh, because it, it's so cold up there, all right? Another thing, altitude plays a major role in coffee production. You don't just need to be close to the equator to grow coffee. You need it in the mountains because you need it to have that cool breeze and also the moisture that comes through. Without that, you get no coffee beans. And without coffee beans, Starbucks just ain't going to make no money. All right. Um, ocean currents and winds, too. So many of you dream about going to California. Danny, plane flight tonight, Golden State. Me and you. Go see a game. Steph Curry. Yep. He's right on. Curry? Right? Curry? Just saying, buddy. Curry. Yep. Uh, you, Danny, maybe. Me, they're going to give me a mop and tell me to go to the nosebleed sections. All right. Um, but yo, everybody thinks like, everybody thinks California swimsuits, right? No. All right. What happens is the Pacific ocean, because it's cold, the breeze comes off of there. Golden state 
like San Francisco area, when I visited and it was June, I brought one hoodie. I lived in that hoodie for three days. It was cold. I was at nighttime, JC, and I was going like this. I wish I had brought my coat. For real. I thought it was California, man. I thought like, hey, bathing suits. I know, right? But like the ocean cools it off, especially in Northern California. All right. Um, um, ocean currents and winds too. So, hey, Ron, uh, what do you prefer? Um, 90 degrees, but with a breeze. Okay. Or 80 degrees and no breeze, but swampy. Uh, Yo, 90 with a breeze, 90 with a breeze, right? But you see how the wind, um, how it cools you off. It affects a climate too, or biome, right? Which Ron, by the way, good choice, you know? All right. Um, water takes in heat, then transfers it. So, oh yeah, I will in a second. All right. Um, so Marvin for this one. All right. Water takes in heat, then transfers it. So if you are, we're actually, I'm probably going to just get a cell phone. You got it? Okay. Thank you. All right. Ocean currents wins too. Water takes in heat, then transfers it. So, um, Schmar, what happens is this. Catch. Nope. But I do need to pay attention. Sorry. Yo, so the sun hits the equator, warms up the ocean. As it, the ocean moves, it takes that warmth with it. So the fish be hot? Yeah, yo, fish too. Yo, there's a reason why we have fish here, like in August and September, that we don't have in yeah, um, April. Here. Yeah, they do. Oh, oh, All fish right. migrate too? Fish migrate too. They follow, they follow the warm water. Shamar, remind me of that later when we talk about how animals change climates, okay? They're only as faithful as their options. Um. Evaporation matters to precipitation. So in the desert, um, you have more evaporation than you do precipitation. Guess what? Less water to grow. Precipitation to evaporation ratio, amount of precipitation divided by the amount of evaporation. So Lee, in a year, um, it rains two inches, okay? And you've got one inch of evaporation. All right. Does that mean you, what's that? It is. Okay. Especially because it only evaporates one. So Lee, the evaporation ratio is two. That means that area is going to be pretty wet, pretty soggy. You generally want an evaporation ratio. It one is good. So yep. Lee right on down ratio. That is one is good. This is all fresh. What is the red one? Red's a question we're going to answer. Okay. As a class it's open. Or, yep. As a, class of As a class of people are listening. Um, is productivity greater in? Oh no, you have to write that down. We'll write down the answer to that. Is productivity greater in low or high latitude climates, and why? Work in the words precipitation, temperature, insulation. Um, yeah, go quick. All right. Um, yo, let me pass something around here. Wait, no, wait. Sorry, guys. Come on, bro. Do better, bro. Probably being so serious, too. He is, probably is, but he needs to He definitely is being serious. I'm talking to him. That's how he got out of nowhere. You show him working cheap. Yeah. Use your guys' text. Where were you at this whole break? Uh, it's back there. Go for it. All right. Yo, um, we're answering this first question. Work in the words precipitation, temperature, and insulation. Um, first question is going to think of this as um, our climate compared to the tropics. Okay? It Does it rain or precipitate more here or in the tropics? Jaquain. Tropics, right? 
Love it. I'm sorry, JC. Um, temperature. Is it warmer in the tropics or here? Tropics. Love it. So the answer is it's greater? Yep. Productivity is greater in high latitude climate. I'm sorry, in um, low latitude climates. Okay. Because you start getting towards high latitude, the further you get from the equator, the less stuff grows. You know? Yeah, because Shamar's got it right. You get up to the tundra, the only thing that grows are these little lichen things. You know? Yeah. Um, they're kind of like moss in a way. Oh, um, low. Because of increased precipitation, warmer temperatures. And as far as insulation, it gets more sunlight. Wait, I'm sorry, y'all. Because of increase. Wait, not right now, though. No worries, no worries. Low latitude. Low latitude, um, greater productivity. This is the answer for the first question, right? Yeah. More precip. Higher temperature. And more sun. Basically, more of all of these. Hey, Danny, we're answering this question right now, buddy. I just don't want to do you dirty. We're just giving people the answers, basically. Yo, in low latitude, you know, like the Caribbean and tropics, it's got more precipitation, more temperature, more incoming sunlight, so stuff grows. So it's the productivity is greater in low latitude. Okay? Throw that one down for me, though. Okay? All right. Um, I don't What's know. the difference between climate change and global warming? Oh, I guess that one. Yo, Lee, where are we at right now? That's a good question. You're at uh, climate change. And biome shift. Very good. Good toss. All right. Climate change and biome shift. With climate change, biomes are shifting. It used to be coconut trees only grow in the Caribbean, all right, by the equator. Now they're growing up by South Carolina. Yep, for real. Uh, coconut trees, you know, they're starting to they're starting to um, because as the war, as the climate starts changing, these plants eat, and animals either adapt or they die. Think of it like this. The coconuts adapt. Yeah. Oh, um, low latitudes, climates, greater productivity. Okay. Um, think of it like this. Some of you, have, some of you have relatives that I know that are like this. It was either adapt or die and they adapted and they are now thriving. Some of them drive really nice cars. All right. All right. I got to get small so I can fit in there. Oh, the difference between climate change and global warming. Climate change is just, oh, sorry, global warming is just part of climate change. Just like dribbling is just, yeah, just like dribbling is only part of basketball. Um, global warming is just part of climate change. Yeah, climate change is like this, all right? And global warming is just part of it. There's more to climate change than just global warming. Like Marvin. Imagine you played basketball, but the only thing you did during the game and practice was just dribble. You'd be like a one-dimensional player, and you'd also take an L. You know? There's more to it. There's more to climate change than just global warming. Global warming is just part of it. All right. Temperatures increase. Um, yep. Generally, the further we go, yeah, my head, I can duck. So, generally, here's stuff you can associate with climate change. Temperatures are increasing. There's greater warming, higher latitudes. So that means that Kamar's house, it's starting to get warmer there than it is down by the tropics. It's starting to get warmer, they notice, in Alaska 
than it is saying like here. It's just polar more. Bears die. Yo, polar bears, yo, they get they're in a lot of hurt right now. I would not be investing in polar bear technology. Yeah, you know, and they, that is a Coca Cola emblem though for Christmas, so I kind of need them around. What up? Yeah. Oh, by the way, do you know if you're up in um, some of those regions with polar bears, like uh, Svalbard, it's an island, to go there, you have to carry a rifle with you because polar bears are the most aggressive. Uh, I thought they were the most, the most like, docile. No, the, no, no, the black bears around here, Shania, you're fine. Like, literally. Yeah, you can scare them off. Like, the polar bears, they're looking at you and they're looking like, dang, that guy looks yummy. All right? Especially after Christmas cookie season. Oh my gosh. You're darn right. You know? We're so sore. What do you got? Why, why can't bears that live, that, that live up here? The bears that live down here can't. Oh, they, the bears up in North Pole can swim. They just, they're not swimming across the ocean. They can swim from iceberg to iceberg, but it's like, it doesn't matter. Um, the, yeah, because they're all melting. It's like, oh, oh wow, I got to this iceberg. Great. Is there seals there? No. What else? What's the answer to this question? Oh, um, global warming is just part of climate change. Okay. All right. Yo, um, greater warming in the winter. So we're noticing, like, look outside today. Um, it is, as we're speaking, yo, what's the date? Is it the third? Yeah. Yeah. It says it's 39 degrees out there. It should be frozen. Is the ground frozen? Heck no. Um, precipitation gains losses. Some areas gain more precipitation. They gain more rain or snow. Other areas lose more. So it's not even. Our area here in New England, we're supposed to, with climate change, have more rain overall. Problem is, is it comes like one year and then the next year is a drought. Um, stronger storms. Now you don't have to put this down, but personally me, I'm seeing more of them. What do you think? Is there more hurricanes that you see now than you did? Yeah. yeah right. Like every year, right? Yo. Bro, I feel like, I feel like Florida, I feel like Florida, they got so much snakes and lizards because that's where the dinosaurs be. Ooh. Like, like that's what I think. Yo, and it, you might be on to something. Like, I, was that? I got two right there. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Yo, but the problem with the iguanas is this. They have like the little ones in like Puerto Rico, also in Florida. But people have got the big ones that they had as pets. And then they get, when they get sick and tired of them, they just let them loose into the environment and they eat the small ones. Yeah. Real bad and when I went down there, like I wanted to like, one, right? Yeah. And my mom was like, no, because she told me a story about like, like yeah. they whipped her real bad. I'm like, yeah. I'm cutting They've got uh, this type of bacteria called salmonella on them, and it, if it gets into your blood, it's antibiotics. Like, you know, you gotta wash your hands after you touch them. Like, if, if it gets, if it gets into your, no like, you like scratch your eyes or, or yeah. eat with your hands or something. Oh my gosh, like you, it fucks you up. No, it does. He's the guy knows stuff. The legit. All right. Um, results. Yo, biomes are moving. Shamar picked up on fish. Fish are no longer like staying in the tropics. They're like, you know what? Damn, getting warm. Suddenly Virginia don't look so bad, you know? So as the ocean waters start to warm, we're getting a lot more tropical fish coming up swimming into these waters. More food. Possibly, okay, for real. Start looking, you know, for real, like if you're a fisherman and what you normally fish for, Kenzie, is no longer available, but now you got these ones coming in. We're just like any other animal. We're only as faithful as our options. If it's adapt or die, me and you are going to adapt. Because there's something about Mackenzie. You're not taking the big L at life. You know? Um, I have a question. What you got? So this reminds me, uh, I saw this video on TikTok where it was like the ground started like becoming so hot that it was like frog up from the like, like ground. And when they went to the waters, it was like boiling, bubbling. Yeah. It wasn't like the ocean. I think that was a big thing that happened. Like, I think that was a big thing that happened. Like, 
that. Oh, I see. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, you can have um, hot springs. And what? Uh, actually, they're kind of fun to bathe in, as long as you know the temperature. Don't. Yeah. Um. How far? Which one you need? What, this here? No, 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 no. down. All right. That's as far as gone down as I've gone so far. Okay. Um, climates are changing fast. Adaptation happens slowly. So animals are moving. So look, if your name is... Um, sorry, if you're Kamar and you're used to like, you know, 60 degree weather, yo, but now it's, <laughs> All right. I love it. But yo, now that it's 80, your blood isn't going to adapt to it that quickly. So you're going to be like, you know what? Peace out. I'm going further North. So animals, because it takes generations to adapt. They're going to be like the one adaptation they can do quick is bounce. So a lot of them are bouncing and moving to other places. Like birds. Birds. Exactly. Birds. birds. But, <laughs> yo, but yo, yo, one bird that can't, think about this, penguins. Yo, right? Danny, catch. Penguins. Oh, sorry. That was me. That was me. My fault. Why are you trying to Odell that shit? <laughs> All right. I think you want to drop the game. <laughs> so. Damn. That was me. Sorry. Sorry. I won't toss it next time. All right. My fault. So. Penguins. They have nowhere to go. So they are dying. All right. Um, those that can. Farming too. Um, yes. What up? MTN is mountain. Yeah. All right. Adaptations happen slowly. So animals are moving those that can. Farming too. Hey, Lee. Lee, what did you tell me that Nebraska grows? Corn and soy. Um, so look, soybeans. I wouldn't think they would grow in Nebraska. But with the way that the temperature is going, perfect climate for them. They do in the summer. Yep. 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 That's actually, I did not know that. Yeah, they're insulated. Yep. All right. But Lee, one thing I can tell you, the big crop that they do in Nebraska for soybeans, the market for it, Far East, China. All right. Which is why when we had the trade war with China, with Trump, um, the farmers in Nebraska kind of took a hit. All right. All right. Um, areas with higher turnover of species means... Um, more species that cannot adapt, more likely to die. Himalayas, they can only move so far up the mountain. All right? Sorry. If you're, um, if you're a shuka, if you're a bird, and you need to high, that higher elevation, there's only so high you can go with the mountains. All right? East Africa, drought. Kamar, I'll ask you about this. Uh, there's an area called Sahel, I think, in eastern... Africa, the problem is they're getting severe drought because they're also having a lot of uh, cows. Mediterranean, Madagascar, tough to leave an island. It really is. If you're, if you're a species stuck on an island, good luck to you. Great Plains plus the lakes. Um, Great Plains is starting to heat up. You got very little places you can go. Same for the Great Lakes. I can't, I can't. All right. Next thing is this. Increased opportunities. Arctic oil drilling. Northwest Passage. What do I mean by this? Sorry. If you're in the Arctic, obviously the ice is melting, 
moving away. There is oil underneath, possibly, that you can drill for and get to. Which the problem is that'll just increase the ice melting by using up the oil. Um, yeah, I wonder how much oil there is, too. I mean, just I know there is in Alaska, but underneath the Arctic, I'm like, I don't know. I wouldn't think there'd be a whole lot of vegetation that with the plates would have gone up that way, but I could be wrong. Um, Northwest Passage. That is, as the ice starts to melt from the Arctic, you can send ships from the United States up through the North Pole on over to Asia. It makes the journey, if you're going to, yeah, so shorter. So if you're shipping a pair of Jordans, a boatload of them, over from China to the United States, your ships just got there a whole lot faster. I don't have the answer for that one. And I think, JC, I think it's only during the summer months it opens up. So if our Nike send a big old boat over, probably about August or September of Jordan's uh, to the East Coast of the United States, I'd send all my Jordans in one shot. Actually, it's probably what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They might also ship it over and then put them in a warehouse for four months. You know? That's what happened. That's what happened with orders. Like, you drop order. We releases. Yeah. Yep. All right. Hey, peeps. Um, Yo, know, we're out of here at 1139, right? All right. I'm going to cancel this, and um, that's part two. All right?